Hey guys, Richard from Forsyth Video here. Today I'm checking out some rock candy guitars from Daisy Rock. This one's actually the debutante version. This one is the rock candy custom and there's your rock candy kind of standard over there. <clears throat> what makes these guitars decent? And actually better than decent? Well, let me tell you about that. They're not heavy at all. They're surprisingly light. And the reason behind that is because at least in these two higher value models they're made of sycamore for the most part the neck is a slightly thinner profile than you would expect uh, both this direction and this direction reason being daisy rock guitars were designed for girls they actually when they came out they were called daisy rock girl guitars they were designed by tish sirivalo forgive me if i'm saying that wrong Cervalo probably and uh, she was the wife of Mike Cervalo of the president of Schecter Guitars in the early 2000s area era when Schecter really started blowing up story goes Tish's daughter drew a design of a daisy Tish was playing with the design and drawing on it too drew a little guitar coming out of the daisy daisy rock the first model was born was actually a daisy shaped guitar there's different versions of that that are floating out there now tons of different manufacturers tried to do the whole girl market guitar thing with uh different you know areas of, of success i think avril lavigne had a signature model of course lita, lita ford with bc rich but no one had ever really started a brand specifically for girls and women you know because there was uh, always an overabundance of males of course getting into guitar but there was also a lot of females that were underrepresented and that's where Tish sort of saw that opportunity to start something. So she started making these guitars with her husband at Schechter, um, made in the same factory as a lot of their guitars were. I think this one in particular was, this one's made in China, but I think some were made in Indonesia as well. But the whole point of them was to be playable, to be lightweight, to be easily accessible, and to be eye-catching to, uh, well, girls. That's why there's some in sparkly pink. But uh, if you're like me, and you're a fan of like weird 80s guitars especially, sparkly pink is cool. <laughs> I'm a fan. So another thing that the uh, models such as the uh, Rock Candy Customs and stuff come with are Seymour Duncan design pickups. And I'm going to tell you right now, they sound really good. Star inlays, which are something unique and actually... Uh, my favorite guitar, the Ibanez SZ, Marty Friedman has a model, the Ibanez uh, MFM1, basically an Ibanez SZ. It's got a star on it, and it's got star inlays. It's just cool. Um, Rover tuners definitely help keep her in tune. And just like pretty, you know, that Schecter font, with the, the headstock logo and all that, but just very playable guitars. This one's all kinds of beat up. I got it at Goodwill for... I don't know, 40 bucks or something like that, and then shipped, I think it was around 70. Put some new strings on it and cleaned her up. She's ready to go. So uh, I would definitely pick one up if I was in a pawn shop, if I were you guys and you saw one out there. I'd say give them a chance. Check this out too. Coil tap? Really? Here's the tap off. Definitely get some more spank out of it. Tap on. And then on the flip side of that coin, they got some pretty hot output too. Check it out. When the whole heavy metal hard rock scene of the early 2000s was coming up and you had new metal you had uh you know some of your shred guitar guys were coming out with new albums satriani and all that guitar playing kind of had a little renaissance and uh 
I think surprisingly from that era, you can't believe saying it, probably the best cheap guitars that were coming out were other than maybe some of the like lower model Ibanezes, some of the Geos maybe. Were these Daisy Rock guitars? I mean how how can you how can you compete with a Les Paul that is half the weight of a Les Paul while at the same time coming out the box with Grover tuners and Duncan pickups basically and a coil tap. This is just awesome. This one was a uh, much cheaper model. This was the debutante that came in I think their rock pack type little thing. And I got this just because I already had these and I like these. So I got this and I did replace the pickup in this because I think this just comes with a cheap Chinese pickup. I mean this is a brand new I think was $99 when it came out so but yeah generally you can find these guys for 150 bucks or less all day long I got this one with a hundred dollar case for 160 bucks here locally so yeah decent cheap guitars Daisy Rock pick them up go out find some and have a good time that's really all I gotta say I'm a little hyper right now I had an energy drink all right have fun everybody I'll see you later <laughs>